everyone, this is uh, Maurizio, editor-in-chief of powerelectronicsnews.com and welcome to PCIM showing in Nuremberg. Today I had the pleasure to be here together with uh, Eduardo Merli, Executive Vice President, Power Transistor Subgroup Automotive and Discrete Group at ST Microelectronics. Ciao Eduardo, how is it going? Ciao Maurizio, I'm fine, how are you? Good, fine, very busy, and you? Yeah, quite busy as well, I mean, uh, Good. it has been a uh, very, uh, very busy day today. <coughs> So PCIM is um, one of the most important power electronics conference. So tell me what's news from ST Microelectronics. In particular, I have attended uh, a couple of days ago the press uh, conference about uh, your latest announcement, the fully vertically integrated in Catania, the Silicon Carbide Valley. Yeah, I can say a few words there since uh, we met there uh, for the big ceremony we had uh, with uh, Mrs. Vestager and then uh, Mr. Russo, I mean, uh, the, uh, the Minister of uh, Italian Enterprises there. So you have seen, uh, let's say, how big is uh, our investment on silicon carbide, I mean, uh, which reflects our total commitment uh, on silicon carbide and on power. So uh, that is, uh, as you said, I mean, uh, the first European vertically integrated uh, silicon carbide fab from substrate uh, to uh, final products because it does uh, host as well uh, a back-end uh, back factory there uh, and then it is a big one so because I mean we are talking about a 5.6 billion dollar investment with a big grant coming from the European community and then uh, from Italian government there so so Talking about uh, so a big topic that I would like to share with you is uh, uh, charging infrastructure, powertrain. Maybe we need uh, more charging infrastructure, at least in Italy. So charging infrastructure expansion versus powertrain technology advancement. So which should we prioritize for electric vehicle adoption or in other ways, our advancement in powertrain in uh, infrastructure should complement each, uh, each other and uh, what about wideband gap semiconductors in this, uh, in this case to accelerate uh, so they hold the old promise to revolutionize uh, power electronics in electric vehicles yeah actually the, um, the two aspects are uh, completely tied and connected I mean because uh, yeah you said that uh, in Italy we definitely lack I mean Italy is one of the uh, worst countries unfortunately for uh, let's say as far as the uh, the penetration of electric vehicles uh, um, is concerned then and then one of the biggest issue we have is uh, let's say the lack of infrastructure so the um, uh, the infrastructure building up uh, in terms of charging stations and then the technology that I mean uh, is used and has to be used uh, in order to sustain, I mean, uh, range for, uh, and then also uh, fast charging time in vehicles are completely connected. So the, the, uh, the technology that we are developing, the product that we are developing with different uh, forms, different packages, different solutions, are definitely meant in order to sustain both. And then, okay, silicon carbide and GAN are bringing a huge advantages of that. I mean, because silicon carbide uh, and GAN for, uh, I say they're uh, superior compared to silicon uh, um, performances, uh, electric, uh, let's say thermal uh, behaviors there are bringing uh, big advantages. I mean, in the cars, they can, uh, they can make the cars or they can allow, let's say, the car makers to have, I mean, um, bigger power density, higher efficiency, and then this leads to, uh, let's say, um, lower weight, I mean, lower volumes. And then for the charging stations, uh, the modules, the discrete solutions, uh, again, using uh, different technologies, I mean, uh, silicon carbide uh, and, and GAN as well, they can lead to a much, I mean, a powerful uh, charging station, much more e efficient. And then, I mean, towards, uh, for instance, a DC charging station that can shorten very much the, uh, the charging time. And this is one, of course, together with the range key parameters for the adoption of the electric vehicles. Great. So, despite ongoing climate change, the use uh, of, uh, of fossil fuels, in this case, remains one of the major uh, source of, uh, of global energy, of power generation, if you are considering the, the sector globally. 
So we have to reduce CO2 emissions. We, we need to increase efficiency, talking about uh, power electronics. Uh, each of us uh, should take the first step to reduce uh, our emissions, if we can say. So talking about industry and talking about your company, what about path in terms of decarbonization and sustainability from ST Microelectronics point of view? Yeah, we have, I mean, uh, a quite aggressive uh, plan uh, on that. I mean, so, uh, and then the, the plan is uh, a global plan. So uh, we have a plan, of course, to, um, to reduce, I mean, uh, the direct uh, emissions, the direct greenhouse emissions uh, on, on all, I mean, uh, our uh, industries and, uh, and factories there. We have a plan to, uh, to save energy there and to have, I mean, uh, our factories and fabs, I mean, uh, supplied by uh, green energy yep. we are also asking our uh, suppliers to uh, let's say to declare their own uh, let's say uh, energy chain if we can say that in order to guarantee uh, let's say uh, as far as possible an end-to-end -end, i mean uh, green energy there and then i mean coming back to your points uh, before i mean what we are developing in terms of power solutions uh, going towards, I mean, uh, higher efficiency. So uh, definitely for the new material, silicon carbide and GAN, but also for the more efficient silicon technologies, this goes into uh, an energy saving. And then, of course, I mean, at the end, in, uh, let's say, uh, a reduction of the emissions themselves. Yeah, thanks. So last question, looking forward, let's, uh, let's have a look at the future. So, if, uh, so, what do you see the next trends, the next innovation in power electronics? Maybe something about uh, game changers like uh, technology, but also in particular, which the companies? The goal is to stay competitive, to capitalize on these trends. What, which consideration should keep in mind companies, the companies? So then uh, maybe I can start from automotive. So uh, one, uh, one trend uh, that I mean, uh, we are seeing uh, is definitely a uh, higher voltage coming from battery, uh, from the batteries, and then uh, a higher voltage battery bus. This, of course, I mean, has a lot of advantages because it, uh, it allows to have, I mean, a reduction of harnessing. It allows to have, I mean, better efficiency. And then, of course, I mean, it reduces the, uh, the, the, um, the, the charging time. So again, this translates into a better perception uh, for, uh, for the users. Uh, and then this is definitely a trend that we are seeing. And then this, uh, let's say, also responding to the second part of your question, for us means that we have to develop solution at a higher voltage that, I mean, can cope with that and then can, uh, let's say, uh, allow us or our customers to address uh, these questions as well. So uh, moving to, uh, to the industrial, so uh, what we are seeing is uh, a lot of applications uh, on the energy, energy storage. Uh, we are seeing more and more as well, so uh, some high voltage uh, DC link type of applications. Uh, and then this definitely with, uh, let's say, uh, namely with the silicon carbide, that high voltage uh, can be addressed I mean, uh, quite, quite efficiently there. And then there is another big trend, which is definitely a larger trend than, uh, than power, which is uh, the data servers, the uh, yep. artificial intelligence servers. But those servers, they require, I mean, a huge amount of energy. They require to be cooled down. And then once again, I mean, uh, the energy efficiency uh, and then the, uh, the power supply using uh, silicon carbide and, uh, and GAN in the future are really uh, let's say a key enabler of this uh, massive development of, uh, of servers. So we are developing solutions uh, for uh, all these trends. And then, I mean, uh, we are keeping uh, innovating on, uh, on the technology themselves, even on the material. So we, we mentioned the substrate before, but then material for the backend modules and then processes are definitely another key area where we are working on. Okay, thank you so much, Eduardo. Grazie mille. Thank you very much. Grazie. See you, see you next uh, in Milan for see Power you. Up, where you will talk in the second day about the uh, wide band gap. Yeah, see you, uh, see you in Milan in September for the Power Up uh, event that we are, uh, organi you are organizing. And then definitely uh, I will be more than happy about uh, sharing uh, and then presenting, I mean, uh, the silicon carbide and GAN, uh, let's say, direction trends here. And then, I mean, uh, so uh, uh, we will be waiting for everyone coming over Good. and then uh, looking forward. listening to us. Thank looking you very forward. much. Then. Thank you. And thanks for, thanks for watching and stay tuned on powerelectronicsnews.com. Thanks. Thank you very much.